Ah, well. It has been quite some time, hasn't it? We have been away for much, much too great a time. And I do believe... Why? It's October 19th! <laughs> and you know what that means. That means we're officially 13 days away from Halloween. Hmm. I know I've been out of the game for quite a while, but... You know what they say. Appearances have to be kept. And... A big introduction is always best. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the return of Fear Itself's Halloween Countdown. Thirteen stories to fright and terrify, leading all the way up to Halloween night, where we will transition into my other favorite series. But that's for another time, kitties. Tonight, we will be delving into the dark, disturbing, murky depths of number thirteen, my fear. Of water. <laughs> I've always had a terrible fear of being submerged completely in water. Not that I can't swim or anything. My dad made me learn. He said I almost drowned when I was very young. I was afraid of it because, for as long as I can remember, whenever I'm underwater and look up at the surface, I see a woman reaching down to me with a warm smile, with glowing golden hair and dark blue eyes. Even if it's just in a bathtub, it always happened. It was just normal for me, but I never got used to it. It was unnerving, but also soothing at the same time. She always made me feel like it was okay. I still avoided it, though, because I was just a kid and it was really freaky. I never told my dad about it as a kid, but I did ask him about my mom. He never wanted to talk about her. Sometimes he even got mad at me for trying too hard to bring it up. It was only recently that I described this apparition to him. He nearly drove into a telephone pole. Obviously he knew something, so I asked him again about my mom. He still would not say much, except that she died when I was very young and that she loved me very much. He also admitted that her hair and eyes were those colors just like mine. So I did some research on my own, looking up her name for myself on my birth certificate and trying to find any references that I could, any news clips about a boy nearly drowning, anything. I mostly wanted a picture, something I could match to my guardian angel. And today, buried in our own town library, I found it. Winchester. Marie Withy. 28. Drowned to death yesterday evening after climbing a razor wire fence and fleeing to a nearby reservoir. Funeral is scheduled by her family for the 25th. Marie was institutionalized just six months ago after being found not guilty of attempted murder on the grounds of insanity. Her husband, Daniel Withy, had acted quickly enough to rescue their infant child, who she was found, trying to drown in a bathtub. 